Today I'm at Bedford Street Antiques. Uh, yes, I did change my hair and yes, I'm wearing probably the most fabulous hat I've ever had. What is this windmill? I like the colors. Oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker set. Is it a music box? Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know where the music box is, though. Either way, it's a little pricey. I've had that paperweight a bunch before. Uh, it's this Dresden style girl with the butterfly I'm interested in. These are kind of a pain to ship, uh, but I love her butterfly and her dress is really intact. Usually the lace is pretty chipped, but 15 doesn't leave enough room for me. The cat family, that's fun. Uh, 1450, too close. Set of four, $32. That's a good price. I used to sell these a lot, but I've had a yellow one sitting, so I'm gonna leave them. The circus glasses are so fun, and the paint's all there too, it looks like. Seven for $42, and um, they're running a sale of 20%. That makes it a really good deal. If I was buying it for myself, I would definitely uh, jump on it, but I'm not really trying to pick these up today cat string holder and it's got the scissors that's fun but it's a little too close i think it also looks relatively newer which you know isn't the worst but if i'm gonna front that much for something i want to make sure it's gonna be a quick flip you never see the teabag holders with the original holder 950 for the set, but it says as is. Uh, what is the as is? Gosh, these are so cute. I'm not really sure what's wrong with them so far. It looks. Oh, I see. This one's got a broken handle. Man, that is such a bummer. I was really excited about that. Uh, I don't think I can look past that. It's like near perfect, except for the fact that there's something really wrong. Well, this china cabinet is definitely spectacular, but I'm really into this Art Deco retro looking head statue. Uh, also, I really like the pattern on these glasses, pink and black. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure this is uh, Jocelyn's booth. Oh, what fun spice sets. Uh, the chickens are cool, but it's those chef ones back there that I'm really uh, after. It says $12. I'm definitely going to pull them out. They look in good condition, too, and I love that they've got the uh, little holder thing. This is such a cute little book. Oh, my gosh. $5. It's really old, too. Normally, the pages are all falling out, so I'm gonna put it down while I look. Ooh, it is a little fragile for sure. But gosh, the illustrations are so great. I always think these syrups are so fun. I love the pink. Five dollars. Looks like all the parts are there too, uh, but I feel like they don't sell that well. Oh, this doll box is so cute. I love a, I love the look of this. It's in really good condition. And it is marked Japan. It's $10. I could definitely make some money off of it. Just a little on the fence. It's so cute. It's hard to pass up, but I think I'm going to keep looking. What's going on in this bag here? <laughs> It's cute, but looks like uh, it needs a serious restringing. And the cloth dolls are fun, but they got a little too much damage for me. Oh, this little boopy. I don't know why. I have like a weird thing for uh, old vintage things that are girls that are crying. <laughs> uh, Six dollars is a good price, but 
it's six dollars because it's got a good amount of damage on it it's hard to see from afar but I'm gonna put it back I like the graphic on this box of course Avon now you know what I use oh well it's new gosh they always disappoint this lazy Susan is definitely different such a neat piece it would make a great display and a lot of different style of houses but I definitely don't feel like shipping that Oh, I am just obsessed with this doll. $20. Oh, man, that's really close. It's just so sweet. Love the gingham dress and the face is just perfect. And it does have glass eyes, which is uh, more desirable. But I think I'm going to leave it. It's just too close. And a cameo doll, $8. That's a good price, but I wish it had some clothes <laughs> well these are really 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 expensive so I'm not gonna get them but I just had to show off these three little pig puppets they are so spectacular I love their eyes and they are in really good condition though I'm unfamiliar with why they're so expensive I like the glaze on this uh, pottery vase here it is extremely heavy though it's signed it's new though, which honestly, if it wasn't as heavy, wouldn't bother me as much. Holt Howard, uh, egg cup, $16. That's pretty expensive, honestly. This is one of the only Holt, pa Holt Howard patterns that just really doesn't sell well. Um, the egg cup is definitely a little bit harder to find than the rest of the set though. And I looked at those last time I was here. This is a pretty hard to find set. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out of the case. I can't really make out the price. It looks like 30 something. So it was 35. It did have a little bit of damage. It had a small crack on one part, so I'm gonna pass. I did have this set not that long ago in red and it sold for like $69. That little portrait is pretty too. I really like that Jack in the Pulpit face. Um, that purple color is just gorgeous. 38 is a little too high for me to front though. This tiki set is so fun. I love the ashtray. $20 and then 20%. That's definitely a steal. It comes with the candle holder, the mug, and the ashtray. And it's got the original stickers from Japan. Gosh, I really like this. I'm 50 50 on it. I feel like it's weird to pass up. But I'm a little nervous buying that much brown. Turtle coasters. Eight dollars. Twenty percent. That's a really good price. But they seem to be re really in there. Uh, <laughs> man, I feel like this is not supposed to be that difficult. Kind of lost interest there trying to pull them out and plus some of the cork has some damage so I'm just gonna pop that back in oh this pull toy is so cute I love that it's flocked it's got such a great expression and it's in relatively good condition too I feel like normally these are pretty rough $15 it's not a bad price what are these puzzle things oh, that's cute love the little yellow chick. The cat is definitely my favorite though. It's got its like plate underneath, which is neat. It's a little bit of an awkward uh, size to ship. I've bought in, like super cute kitschy puzzles in the past because honestly, I just can't resist some of the graphics, but they really don't sell well, which is a surprise to me because uh, both cats and birds like this sell pretty well in general, but I'm gonna pass these ones by. <laughs> this is one of the instances where I actually like that it's got where it's like perfectly weathered, but I'm gonna keep looking here. This booth always has such fun stuff. It's kind of hidden around and they 
do such a great uh, job of displaying things. Their visual merchandising uh, skills are definitely on point. Mm. Ooh. Oh, wow. I like the tie backs. They're all in good condition, too. Definitely a harder to find thing. And $8 a pair is not a bad price at all. pretty. Speaking of pretty, I really like this. That jade eye color is just amazing. Ten dollars. It's like a little stuck, but it's just such a pretty piece that if it doesn't sell, it's fine. It will just end up on my vanity. <laughs> Well, I've still kind of been uh, ooing and aahing over it, but I did get it to work. Um, yeah, I'm like really obsessed with this color. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs. <laughs> 